Hi, this is Kevin Deal. Today we're gonna to talk about the Prima Luna Evo 300 Hybrid Integrated Amplifier. I cannot believe I finally get to do a video about this. We've been waiting for years to have this happen. Uh, and I was waiting for this review to come back because we sent it to Dick Olsher at the Absolute Sound. And, um, you know, I, I wanted him to review it because Dick Olsher is part of the old guard, right? And he talked about that in the review. He was talking about uh, the first hybrid integrated that we're aware of anyway was made by uh, New York Audio Labs. It was called the Moss Code, and that was the, uh, the that was uh, designed by uh, Harvey Gizmo Rosenberg and the New York Audio Labs and all these old guys, George K. I mean, just the greatest people ever in high-end audio, just these original OG, I guess they would call them, right? If you think about them. And all the fun that we had back then. And um, I mean, go look up Gizmo or Harvey Rosenberg. I mean, I'm just telling you, you can see the picture of him wearing the shaman thing. It was just, it was a riot. So the Moscow was a great product, but you know, this was kind of like an early adaptation of making a hybrid. And what I really love is that I knew that Dick Olsher had a lot of experience with how things are done, how things are made, and how things sound. And I was so amazed when he came back and he said, when is an evolution a revolution? Answer, when it's the Evo 300 hybrid. This is the power amp I've been, this is the integrated amp I've been waiting decades for. Oh my God, hallelujah brother, right? So now the next question is, why did Prima Luna even do it, right? Prima Luna is a tube company. Well, because not everybody wants to have an all tube system. I mean, some people go, I don't want to have all tubes because it's a hassle. Even though we have shown you that Prima Luna got rid of that problem with adaptive auto bias and the way that we run tubes, so, so cool. You know, a Prima Luna amp is only 36 watts out of a pair of tubes. That's how you do it. You run them cool. But then people go, yeah, I know, but I need 100 watts. Even though we have told you that 36 watts from a Prima Luna, or if you get into our bigger amps, 70 watts per channel is a ton of power. Power doesn't mean a damn thing. We have told you that. It's about parts and engineering. Power only means the ability to go louder. It doesn't tell you about dynamics. It doesn't tell you about bass response. It has nothing to do with that. And if you think it has something to do with it, tune out now, don't even listen to this. Go to Amazon, buy yourself a Sony receiver, 250 bucks, you'll get 150 watts, and it'll bench out and blah, blah, blah. You know, go buy that. But that's, of course, it's not gonna sound like this. And I'm gonna show you why because Prima Luna has done it again. And they wanted, if they were gonna come to market with a hybrid, they wanted to revolutionize what had been done before. And I'm gonna show you the insides of it. We're gonna break it down into two parts, the preamp and the power amp, because it is truly a marriage of two different products. The pre, here, let me just tell you, let me show you this thing. Oh my God. Oh, this is the bottom plate. This is the amplifier upside down. This product is, in essence, an Evo 300 preamplifier, which was designed by Marcel Croza, the chief engineer at Goldman in Switzerland. Prima Luna does not use posers. They don't use magic boxes. None of the engineers were, uh, you know, it's so funny because high-end audio seems to be filled today. Uh, every time I see a guy say, I was a nuclear engineers uh, nuclear submarine engineer with a top secret clearance what's that got to do with engineering a preamp right marcel croza is the real deal and he designed the evo 300 preamp and he designed uh we took that design and brought it into this amp so look at what we have done it is a dual mono preamp and just like the Evo 300, it has six 12AU7s in the front end. The two tubes in the center are what are called the gain tubes, and the, the tubes flanking it are what are called driver tubes. That's the way we've always done it. And now it's all point-to-point -point wiring in the signal path of the preamp. But look at this. It has dual mono power transformers. 
uh, toroidal power transformers that are potted. That's why this thing weighs so much. And if you look over here at the power supply, it's like, boom. They wanted to make sure that this is really, really super quiet. And they could have used something called an AC filament supply, and they did not. They used what's called an elevated DC supply. It's far more expensive, but it's, it, it's a lot less noisy. I mean, it incorporates a bridge rectifier and then very, very expensive Vichy diodes. That's the way to do it. And people aren't gonna talk about that stuff when they tell you about their amplifiers. Look at these black capacitors here and up in the front. Those are expensive tin foils, custom made for Prima Luna in Switzerland. We used to use a, a German uh, capacitor in the past. We had good results with them, kinda. Uh, ultimately, the, we had to kick back so many of them, it just wasn't working out to get the kind of capacitor and the kind of quality that we demand. So we went to this factory in Switzerland and I'm telling you, these things are absolutely perfect and they sound unbelievable. The volume control is an Alps blue velvet potentiometer. We didn't want to use a digital chip. We didn't want anything that would create a product that would sound sterile. We wanted to have real tube glory in a hybrid. If you look at the back here, you're going to see, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, metal plates. And what those are are shields to keep everything as quiet as you can. So there's a shield in front and in back of these toroids. But you know, even though we're using toroids, which are famous for not radiating EMI, we still added an additional shield. Right here in the center, this is the AC offset killer. And this is something that's exclusive to Prima Luna. There's companies that sell this type of a product outside of an amp. And they charge anywhere from $500 upwards of $1,000. But Prima Luna included it. And it's running both channels of the preamp as well as the power amp, which I'm about to show you. And then behind this shield in the rear is something really cool. We use Takamasawa relays for the input selection. I think you've heard me say this before, that selector switches are not your friend. They are not your friend. So if you have a regular wiper switch, it's gonna be kind of like your parents' TV set back in the day. And you always had a problem with them degrading. You had to get out tuner cleaner, right, to spray them and keep them working right. But the bigger problem is, is that sometimes other channels would leak into the TV channel you're trying to tune into. It's the same thing here. People who live in San Francisco and in New York City, you know what I'm talking about because you literally, people will sometimes be able to pick up radio stations through unused inputs. So what Prima Luna did is this. All these inputs are shorted out. They're all shut. That way nothing can leak in. If you select auxiliary one, it's gonna open that relay up and it's gonna let the signal flow through. All the other relays are shut so it acts as a uh, you know, it, it safeguards anything getting into the signal path. Now you can't stop everything because literally signals float through space. We're talking about little itty bitty touches that drop the noise, drop the noise. Don't try to power your way to good sound. Do it by dropping the noise and that takes parts and it takes engineering. Time to look at the power amp. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. Okay, let's, I was gonna take the cover off to show you, but it's kind of heavy and klutzy, so I didn't want to look like a goof. But this is the cover, right? I mean, it's got some weight to it, five coats of hand rub lacquer, the way it should be done. But the real beauty is what's inside. This is 100 watts per channel into eight ohms, 150 watts into four ohms. But don't pay attention to the power, just like our, you know, it's not about wattage. It is not about that. It is about the parts inside. And when you see what's in here, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Let's start with the power. Look, this was designed by Jen de Group, for God's sakes. He the, was the chief engineer for Sphinx. He uh, has worked for Durabadio for 20 years. I mean, this guy is a rock star when it comes to solid state. And this is what he came up with. And look at it. This power transformer is massive. It is a two toroidal transformers. All right, one for each channel inside this can. And they wanted to put it in a can to make sure that we protect the part because it's an expensive part. 
Transformers are the single largest cost in making an amplifier, so you don't want to mess around with something like this when you spend that much money on it. Manufacturers always want to cheap out on them, but not Prima Luna. So it is true dual mono, just like the preamp. Now look over here at the power supply. There are six capacitors in the power supply. Each one of them is 10,000 microfarads. That's 60,000 microfarads per channel. And then these are cascading JFETs. And they did that because they wanted to lower the source impedance. And then we go over here to these, uh, these two power blocks. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of glowing LEDs in here. And those are uh, current sources. I mean, I thought it was really interesting. I wondered what all the LEDs were about and they wouldn't really tell me. But uh, there was a reason for them. It wasn't just for looks. And then we get to the magic. And the magic is in the, uh, the complementary output devices that are made by Exacon. These MOSFETs are not available anywhere else. And I didn't understand that because I was, you know how I am, right? I like to look parts up and I couldn't find this part. Well, it is a special part and it's part of the secret sauce. And uh, Durov Audio had to buy 10,000 of them because they're going to be going into other Floyd products down the road. And this is where the secret sauce is, and this is why it sounds the way it does, and Dick Olsher fell in love with it, along with a bunch of other reviewers down the, uh, around the world. So you're not going to find this part anywhere else, and it's why this amplifier, even though it's direct coupled and it has this incredible grip and all the balls that it has, it still has a gentle uh, and wonderful immediacy in the top end. That coupled with the tubes in the front, I mean, it's just something that I crave to listen to. Now, because it's such a great amp, why not use it to power the headphones? Other manufacturers, they'll use a little cheap op amp. No one, any, no one knows any better because it's a very inexpensive solution. It can be done for $2, right? But then you might as well just listen to your phone or an iPod. Prima Luna didn't do that. The headphone jack runs right off the speaker taps to a voltage divider network. It costs more money to do that, but it's the right way. Headphones are speakers. They're just little speakers. So why not take advantage of having this amazing amplifier? Same thing with the home theater bypass. When you run this in HT, you're still going to have the glory of the tubes. You're going to have the glory of everything. So you're not just going to improve the sound of your two-channel listening. You're improving the sound of your home theater experience. And the subwoofer, same thing. Subwoofer runs off the output jacks to a voltage divider network, just like a RHEL uses, right? It makes for a more graceful integration between your speakers and your subwoofer. And the subwoofer out is switchable from stereo to mono. Oh my God, it weighs over 68 pounds. It's got this amazing remote control. I mean, look, you know, it's not some plastic Chachi. I mean, this is machined and it's glorious. It's got these neoprene rings around the edges to protect your furniture. I mean, everything, they've thought of everything with this product. I mean, that's the thing about Herman, right? We, Herman Van den Dungen and I are kindred spirits. We've known each other for decades and I love the man and I, I suspect he loves me, I hope. You know, we've done so many great things uh, together and we've had such fun times. And we're so proud of what Prima Luna has become, really the most beloved tube brand uh, in America. I mean, I can't speak for the rest of the world, I suspect in the rest of the world too. And so for them to come out with this product, really uh, it rings true to what Prima Luna stands for when they talk about music illuminated. So do your due diligence. Make sure that you hold me to task. Look inside of this, look inside of other competing products by using Google Images. You don't have to be an engineer to figure this out. You don't have to be an engineer to see that there is something here that is magical. I really want to thank you for listening. Thanks.